Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Comerica Bank and their full credit card catalog as of early 2022. So in typical fashion, we'll first get to know a little bit more about Comerica as a bank. We'll talk about their reward structure and their earnings. Then, of course, we're going to cover their cards, both personal and business. Of course, come out on the other end, figuring out if Comerica has some hidden gems and they will be worth a spot in your credit card lineup or it's kind of a pass. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button. Let's get to work. Now, first things first, like I said, Comerica is not a bank. We talk about a lot. It's more of a regional bank. So let's start off with the classic Did You Know slide to familiarize ourselves with the bank. And so here we have it. Comerica Bank dates way back to 1849 when it first started as Detroit Savings Fund Institute. And of course, you know, in typical fashion, through a lot of mergers and acquisitions, eventually we ended up with Comerica. Now, they are headquartered in Dallas, Texas currently, despite their uh, start in Detroit. Now, they do have retail banking operations in some big states of Texas, Michigan, Arizona, California, and Florida. Again, they're kind of more of a regional bank here. And currently, they are ranked 36th largest bank by assets. So now moving on to the rewards, earnings, and structure, the stuff you really care about. So the card program is run by our old friend Elon Rewards, and we'll talk about them in a second. Um, now the cards earn points or cash back from everything I can tell. It's not really, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But your redemptions are going to be the classic ones, cash back, travel, merchandise, and gift cards. Now, your rewards are going to be good for up to five years from the date they were earned. Um, you know, it, five years is a long time, but still, anytime you see any expiration date on points, I don't care for it. You are also going to need a $25 minimum to redeem your rewards. Now, as far as applying for these go, if you see something that you're interested in, you need to have an existing Comerica account to apply online, so checking, saving, something like that. And you can also apply in branch. I assume you could probably even call up and they might take your application that way if you're interested, even if you're out of state. Um, so with that, we'll quickly touch on Elon. We've encountered Elon before in these credit card catalog videos, sometimes smaller regional banks. You know, they, they contract with Elon and it's like a, a, a company that kind of runs their um, credit card reward system. And so as a result, you know, you'll tend to see cards that are familiar across issuer and you're like, why is this so familiar? Well, it's because it's run by the same provider. And they're just kind of offering like a, a service of products to the bank. So we end up with like a lot of carbon copy cards, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of a thing to be aware of. Um, so with that, let's take a look at the uh, personal cards now, then we'll go through the business ones. So personal cards here, starting out with the Platinum. Um, annual fee is $0. Multipliers, there's none to be had. And the reason being is because this is their classic um, low interest uh, APR balance transfer card. Now, one thing, it would be nice to know how much you have to put down for your secured uh, deposit. But when you go to Comerica's website, you can't really get a ton of information about their card. So I would assume it's about maybe three or $500 on the low end, all the way up to $5,000. That's kind of what we've seen. Now, it's also worth noting if you are interested in this, card it does have secured on the actual card itself like the wording on the card art normally issuers do not distinguish secured versus non-secured so that's a little bit interesting now we have the max cash secured so this is a better version of the one we just looked at so still no annual fee but you do get some multipliers here so you're going to be able to get 5x on the first two thousand dollars and spend on combined quarterly purchases in two categories now they don't give you all the categories listed but they are tv internet and streaming home utilities cell phone providers and more so again if i can find something with all the categories i'll link to it below but then the 2x unlimited cash back on your choice of one everyday category Again, those are some examples they give. Now, moving on to the college rewards card for all of our students out there. Very simple to the point. No annual fee, but you're going to get multipliers like 1.5x on all purchases, which again, for a student card, isn't terrible. Um, now you move on to the max cash, the regular version. Not going to spend a ton of time here because this is the same as the secured version. The only difference is you do not have to put down a security deposit to have this card, but same exact multipliers, um, same exact category options that you have to choose from. Now we have the Everyday Rewards Plus card. I'm um, also another no annual fee card here. Multipliers, 4X on dining and food delivery, and 2X on grocery stores, gas stations, and streaming. 
And with that, that closes out the personal cards and we move on to the business card. So, of course, we have another platinum card, the business platinum. No annual fee, no multipliers, because once again, this is a low, low APR balance transfer card of the bunch. You might be noticing a theme here. Now we have the smart business reward. So, another no annual fee card, but your multipliers are going to be 2x in your top two spend categories each month. Now, again, on the Comerica landing page, they didn't tell me what the categories were, unfortunately, which seems like it would be important, you know, if you wanted to actually go ahead and apply for this. So moving on to the business real rewards card, no annual fee again, and then multipliers you can be your classic 1.5x on all purchases. And then lastly for the business cards, we have the business cash preferred. You have no annual fee, but you do have an interesting set of multipliers, a lot of 3x options here. So you get gas stations, cell phone services, office supply stores, and dining. And then you do have a benefit here, so $100 annual software credit with 11 consecutive monthly software transactions, which really is just a fancy way of saying basically in a full year you have to make 11 purchases one purchase a year for your software on this card then that 12th month that would end up triggering that hundred dollar credit when you make that final 12 payment of that software and so there we have it that is Comerica's full credit card catalog as of early 2022 um you know so again if you're familiar with the loan rewards like i said it ends up being kind of like a carbon copy cookie cutter deal you know even when the card art is all the same that's kind of a telltale sign again not necessarily a bad thing, just something to be aware of. Now, overall thoughts here to wrap this one up. You know, I think if you're two parts, if you're banking with Comerica and you just want to get one credit card, you don't have to deal with a bunch of other banks, you know, there are some interesting options here. You know, I think even that little business one, we had the business rewards card that gives you like four 3X categories. It's actually pretty good. That to me is actually very reminiscent of a very popular U.S. bank card called the U.S. Bank Triple Cash card that I myself actually have. So that one's pretty good. Even the software credit, a little bit tricky to use sometimes because it's kind of confusing. But overall, that's the star of the show on the business side and then again the max cash rewards card on the personal side not bad i mean it would be nice if they gave you you know the full category list up front before you applied and again it's possible if you have a comerica account then you know you could go in and see more than we get on the landing pages you know outsider so to speak so overall, I would say, you know, you're not losing a ton of options there. I mean, it's fine if you want to, if you're with Comerica, I guess, if, if you want to do that. Now, obviously, you can do better elsewhere in every single one of these categories. For example, if you want, the, you know, that cash back card, it's very analogous to the Bank of America customized cash card or even the city um, custom cash. So again, there's better options out there if you want to venture outside of Comerica. Now, again, if you're kind of someone who's like, hey, I'm going to go through the loops and, you know, bonus hunt, if you will. And then again, the best way to play this would be, number one, to wait until they have a Comerica Bank checking bonus account because you're going to need, it's going to be easiest to have a bank account to apply for these and then you can just apply online. Um, you know, so as far as their bank accounts go, I'll just mention it really quick. We've seen two. Now, unfortunately, they seem to be focused in, in Michigan and Texas for some reason, even though, you know, they do retail operations in California and Florida as well. You know, yeah, I would do it that way, but even again, when you look at their cards, there's not a ton of, you know, it's probably not worth the hard pool, worth a 524 slot to go after these bonuses. Again, we all know the usual suspects, and more often than not, you will be able to do elsewhere. And again, that's kind of the theme you get when you get these um, outsourced rewards programs. So personally, I like to go with issuers who at least care enough or are invested enough into it to run their own rewards programs. Generally, those, you know, end up being a little bit more competitive than, you know, what like a lawn reward has to offer but of course if you're interested in some stuff I can link to a playlist down below with a bunch of different banks and credit card catalogs so you have the option you can see what's going on anyways guys if you like this one drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting of course consider subscribing to the channel again posting content just like this every Monday Wednesday and Friday of course right back here every Sunday with all the news you can use in the week that wasn't credit and finance my question for you guys is let me know what you think of both Comerica as their credit card offerings and then the whole Elan Rewards outsource program thing do you have experience with either Comerica or Elan Rewards love to hear your thoughts on that but anyways guys that's going to do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one Thank you.